Okay, when we go to do calculations with buffers, we're going to do it in two steps. Um, that might make it sound simpler than it is, but I really don't think they're that bad. Um, an example problem, find the pH of a buffer. So it will always say the word buffer. You don't have to worry about how you'll know, if, in my class anyways. Find the pH of a buffer. Um, containing 0.476 molar NaHCO3 and 0.377 molar Na2CO3. Two steps to solving this. I'll write the general steps up here. My first step, we know that a buffer has a conjugate pair. My first step is to find, do I want to say find? Yeah, find or identify the weak acid and the conjugate weak base. Um, it might be just that they're given to you straightforward. It might be that one or both of them are hiding within a salt. Either way, we have to find our weak acid and our weak base. Then we'll do the actual math. Um, I'll come back and write a step there in a second. So NaHCO3, I want to ask myself, is that, some, is that something weak already? No, it's a salt. If it's a salt, I have to break it down and find the weak thing, thing hiding in it. Um, and Na2CO3 is also a salt, so I'm going to have to break that down to find the weak thing that's hiding in it. Um, so NaHCO3, it's a salt, so I use a single arrow. The sodium falls off and leaves me with HCO3 minus. This is something that looks like it could be a weak acid or a weak base. The truth is, it can be both, so we'll have to wait until we find its conjugate to know which one's the acid and the base based on which one has the extra hydrogen. Na2CO3 is a salt, so we use a single arrow to dissociate it. The sodium and the carbonate separate, and I would balance it like that. Um, that is something that could be a weak base. So I now, in this salt, found this hiding, and in this salt, found this hiding. That is a conjugate pair because they're different by only one H. That's why I know the sodiums have nothing to do with it. Um, the one with the extra H is going to be my weak acid. The one missing the H is going to be my weak base. So first step, find your weak acid and your weak base. That's my weak acid. That's my weak base. My second step is to do either a weak acid problem or a weak base problem. And I really do mean or. It is your choice. We have a weak acid. I could do a weak acid with this. We have a weak base. I could do a weak base with this. It's totally your choice. I always do the weak acid problem because weak acid calculations are easier. There are fewer steps. But you will get the exact same answer, assuming you do it correctly, um, if you use the weak base. Here's why. Um, Let's say I take my weak acid. I'm going to do a weak acid problem. That's my choice. To do a weak acid problem, I take my weak acid and I dissociate it. Weak acid dissociations mean that an H fall off and everything else stays together. So this is my weak acid problem. This is what I would use the Ka for. And hey, look, over there, that's my weak base. Um, so you should, if you do it right, have your weak acid and your weak base both in the dissociation that you are using for your ice chart. Okay, if I had chosen to do a weak base problem, I'll do it over here just as an aside. For a weak base problem, we always add water. That's how we do those dissociations. They steal an H plus and release hydroxide. In my weak base problem, my weak acid also appears, but what I'd be using the chart for is I'd be using the Kb for the CO3 minus. In my weak acid problem, H plus is going to be what X represents. If I were to do the weak base, H, um, OH minus would be what my X represents. Okay, but I always take the weak acid personally, and I set up an ice chart for my weak acid problem. Now, what's going to feel different here is the right side are not both zeros. And the reason why is that we have a molarity of, in, in this case, salts, but both the weak acid and weak base, we're starting with them. So our H plus is still 0 plus X gets me X. However, I need starting molarities for my weak acid and for my conjugate weak base. 
um, 0.476 was the molarity of NaHCO3. And because that's a salt with a single arrow, I can use a one-to-one -one ratio to know that my HCO3 has a molarity of 0.476. Um, Na2CO3 had a molarity of 0.377, and because it's a salt, I used a single arrow, so I can use a one-to-one -one ratio and get 0.377 for the molarity of my CO3 minus 2. Okay. If they weren't salts, you would have already, if, like if I just gave you H, 0.476 molar HCO3, um, then you'd have the molarity of the HCO3. Mathematically, it wouldn't be any different over here. Continuing on with my ice chart, you're used to saying minus x, and then it doesn't change, because x is so small comparatively. On this side, we apply that same logic, plus x, and then it doesn't change, because x is so small comparatively. Since I chose to do a weak acid problem, I need to do my Ka, which is my H times my CO3. It's probably been a while since you wrote this whole thing out over my HCO3 minus. The Ka will be for my weak acid. If I had done the weak base problem, I would have done a Kb, and I would have used the value for my base. Um, but I used the weak acid value of HCO3. HCO3 is on there as an acid and a base. So you use the value for an acid because we treated it as an acid. Okay. Um, so looking on my chart, it has a Ka value of 4.7 times 10 to the negative 11 equals products x times 0.377, it's not x squared because we don't have two x's down here, over 0.476. I'm going to move over here so I have more room. Um, if the math confuses you, put this over 1 and cross multiply. 4.7 times 10 to the negative 11 times 0.476 divide by 0.377, I get an x value of 5.93 times 10 to the negative 11th. And because I did a weak acid problem, my x represents my H plus. So if I want to find the pH, I just negative log that H plus value and get 10.23. This is the only time, but with buffers, when you can do a weak acid problem and potentially end up with the right answer being a basic pH. Um, the reason for that is realize we didn't just have the weak acid, we had a weak acid and we had, had its weak base, and we didn't know what ratio those needed to be in, um, so we didn't know ultimately what we were going to have extra of. Okay, try those.